Okay, this is my first LEGO review of the Turbo Tank, set number 8098. It's from the Clone Wars. Comes with uh, six minifigures, like two little extra dinghies inside the actual machine uh, set, and the bulky ass, awkward looking LEGO set. I personally am going to give you a little reflection right now, see how you like it, uh, and then go into the actual review. I personally think that this set is a ridiculous cost uh, for what it is. It's not really that cool looking. I'm not, I didn't watch the Clone Wars all the way through, I just watched the, um, uh, the movie itself, so I probably don't have the appreciation that most Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars fans do have for what this is. I just bought it because I kind of got a hankering to buy a big Lego set because you can only be satisfied with the $20, $15 sets uh, so much. Okay, that's the box. You know, there it is. Put that back here. <coughs> Alright, here it is. The Turbo Tank set. So it comes with the six figurines. Uh, I have two little add-ons and one still in. And we start here with uh, one of the commander troopers, a little visor. And like with all of them, he has the standard uh, clone face. Yeah, didn't want to put the little skirt on. Then another one, just another standard trooper, put the little uh, eye thing on there. And then we got the pretty much the reason why I bought the dang set was for the Twi'lek Jedi. Oh, what's her name? Aya Sakura? Yeah. Huh. She seems. I don't know. The, just this alone for the Twi'lek hair was as cool as heck. Her design. I like to design, you know, double print, dual. Uh, color arms there blue lightsaber standard but then the with this set they have the light chrome not complete chrome but like a powder coated chrome uh, light saber hilts it's kind of cool uh, another Ahsoka I, don't know, I have this also in like the Ahsoka Jedi Starfighter and yet again another Anakin and then you have Cad Bane. And this guy, eh, he's an interesting villain. His hat I found to be the most interesting part about the character. It's got like, a huge fedora look. Like he's dual wielding pistols, so he's probably like running around on a COD map, just like killing everyone with like dual scorpions or something like that. You know, that's kind of cool. Um, uh, two little things. You got a little command post. Command post itself. It's kind of like the drop ship. Put your little figures in there, little dialogue boxes. I don't know. I just kind of leave it in the, the turbo tank because uh, I don't really like that way, how that one's set up. And little stepper thing with the gun. I'm like staying apart. There we go. You know, little gun trooper can go in there. Uh, all right. The tank itself this I find annoying the way these wheels are just kind of free floating and then this one has the actual springs uh, in them that this one I find nice but the way the tank overall sits it's like turns into it I don't know and this little uh, handle just for holding and carrying around that's a nice addition Lego give you uh, all right this little the side panels here come down and the way they built it was so that the backs here are made with a little latch which will slide into uh, just slide into the wall there and then get locked in place so that guy goes like that and this side of course symmetric symmetric design it's a hero's design. Uh, this also has little tracks. Slides right in. 
closes. Uh, and then you have over here and on the other side uh, another area which pop it. It's like kind of a little armory holds the the weapons, assault rifles, and the little submachine gun rifle things. That just slides in there. It has those slider pieces. Comes back up like that. Um, yeah. So I'll just take these guys and put them out of the way for now. Now, in terms of the design of the whole turbo tank, I would think logically that this would be the driver's side. It's not. This is the cab side. This is the side where a supposedly, if a clone's going to be driving this thing or whatever, this is the direction it's going to go. That is the front. I, I don't, I think it looks retarded. Not retarded, but just not necessarily practical. Kind of looks like a big ant, so not that cool. But as you open it up, those two little driver spots or two seats, normal levers, and uh, I'll take this commander, shove him in there. And I'll put Anakin in there too. So. Like that. Anakin. Because there's like a thousand of Anakins around. And Obi Wan's. And you can just kind of plop this like right there. So it stays in with Anakin. And then we can put like this guy with his little sight down. So he's got like a. A HUD working for him sits up top and then back has a similar idea so opens up and actually inside here there's a little control panel um, it's the only printed uh, control panel except for the little mobile command unit so but Lightsabers for the two other Jedi's right in here. Put Ahsoka on one side. And the freaking hottie Twi'lek over here. And yeah. So they're in there. Close this down. And you got oh, everyone in there. And, uh, but yeah, so there's the turbo tank. Cost us $120. Uh, personally, I think it was overpriced uh, for what it was. $100 probably would have been nice for this particular set. Um, kind of, <laughs> kind of wishing I didn't buy this one, but as always, always. You know, live and learn. Use it for parts. It's got a multitude of grays in there. Uh, nice technic parts. Something unique. And then building it in itself made me learn different techniques. As with all sets, you learn different techniques of how to build something and put it together. I, don't know, I could probably see myself taking this center area, change it up the front here, maybe work it to make it look kind of like Serenity or something like that. If you're a Firefly fan, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so um, this is my first Lego review again. Uh, leave some comments. Tell me uh, how you think I did. If I was the worst ever. Or if I was okay. Or, or I should improve. Or if you uh, want me to do other set reviews. I'm going to put up a couple more uh, to practice. To you know get my feel for what I want to say and what I want to do. And put like a city set up a uh, Atlantis and maybe uh, another space or something like that alright uh, this is SSJ Herbie 2 you can call me Herbie I uh, prefer Herbie actually you can call me Herbie uh, saying thanks for your view and hopefully you'll learn something or decide if you want this set or not <laughs>